Hey everyone, so this is just going to be a quick impromptu episode. I saw something that really caught my attention and I couldn't resist. I had to sit down and make a little video about it. I've been following the Israeli-Palestinian conflict very closely. As some of you might know, uh, a few days ago I released an epically long two-hour, actually over a two-hour long episode where I just give my meandering, unscripted thoughts on the whole thing. And one of my sources for information, uh, I don't know if I should cite that as a source, I don't know, but is watching Piers Morgan's uh, nightly show and the debates he hosts on his show about the topic. And Cenk Uger has been on several times, and he was on again tonight. And there was something that was just so surreal. Piers Morgan brought up that apparently the IDF has been writing people's names on bombs that they intend to uh, drop on Palestine. And one of the names written on one of the bombs was Jenk Uger's. And I imagine this was meant to be some kind of sick, irreverent joke. They know that Cenk Uger strongly, as I do, opposes the aggressive bombing campaign that Israel has been carrying out in Gaza. And I think we're now up to about 19,000 dead, the majority of which is still thought to be women and children, about 8,000 or 9,000 dead children now. So someone probably thought it would be funny to write Cenk Uger's name on a bomb. And I know Jenks a divisive or divisive figure. One of the first podcasts I ever downloaded was The Young Turks, and uh, I was a fan of theirs for a long time, and I still watch them sometimes. And I might not always agree with Jenk, and sometimes I might find his approach or delivery kind of abrasive or over the top, but I do agree with him on Palestine. And yeah, just a really weird story, kind of surreal. I think I kind of froze for a moment. I didn't know quite how to process it when Piers Morgan kind of casually mentions that Cenk Uger's name was written on an IDF bomb. But why don't I just play the clip? Welcome back to Uncensored. Demands for a full ceasefire are now growing across the world. One of my next guests, Cenk Uger, has been among the loudest voices calling for one. His name was written on an Israeli bomb to be dropped on Gaza, along with that of Andrew Tate and Mohammed Hijab, all previous Palestinian guests on this show. Well, I'm joined now by Democratic presidential candidate Cenk Ugar. Uh, Cenk, I want to start with you because pretty extraordinary to see your name scrawled on an IDF bomb. Just first of all, what was your response to that? Yeah, uh, it's, of course, disheartening to see it. It's sick. Uh, they're going to drop those bombs on Palestinian civilians. They're probably going to murder babies and, and grandmothers with those bombs. That's why if I'm president, I won't send Israel a single dollar, not only the $14 billion they're considering now, but I would end all funding to Israel as they have massacred civilian after civilian, 19,000 dead, 9,000 children butchered. I do not want a single American tax dollar going to help Israel commit war crimes. And if they think they're going to intimidate me by putting my name on, on their bombs, they've got another thought coming to them. Where is yeah, so let's be clear. I mean, I saw the uh, Mark Regevon before me, uh, the propagandist for Israel that you had on. And uh, first of all, he thought it was funny that my name was on the bombs. I don't think that the children that they're murdering uh, think it's funny. Uh, and the idea that they are not indiscriminately killing civilians is absurd. But yeah, so there's the clip. Just a weird story, and I couldn't resist covering it. And once again, I've already spent over two hours giving my thoughts on this conflict. So I'm just going to kind of let it sit there. And if anyone else wants to pontificate or offer their thoughts on this whole thing, you can do so in the comment section of the YouTube version of this episode, which I'm going to get to work on as soon as I hit the stop button.